Good morning and welcome back to another student teaching week in my life. My name is Brienne. If you haven't seen my face before, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on an upload. I talk about hauls, teaching stuff, weekend vlogs, all the kinds of things. So if you're into any of that, you should stick around and join the fun. I have another student teaching week in my life coming up. So today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Labor Day, so we have a short little four day week. I am teaching our reading lesson today, so I need to get to school and look over that. It's about 6 a.m. right now, and I'm really ready to start the day. I missed my kiddos. It's been three long days without them, and I'm ready to be back in the classroom. So, as always, quick outfit of the day. Here we go. Um, top is lofts, bottoms are pixie pants from Old Navy. I have these gold hoop earrings in. I'm not really sure where my mom got them, but she's letting me borrow them. Fossil watch, ring, and these shoes are from Dillard's. I'm carrying two bags today because this is the bag I need for student teaching, and then this is the bag I need for just after school stuff. I'm going to go to a coffee shop, and then I have to head to church this morning, or this afternoon, so I have quite a bit going on with me. I always have like a million things in my hand. I am sitting in the mall parking lot waiting on Ashley because we like to meet up on Tuesdays and then drive down closer to church, hang out around there until church starts and then we will drive back to my car and then each drive our car home separately. I hope that makes sense. It's just because it gets really trafficy around our church um, and it's easier to only be in one car and we still have like three hours until it starts so there's not really a point of going all the way back to Sugarland because with traffic and everything I'd get to Sugarland and I'd only get to spend like an hour there before coming back this way so I think that this is just gonna be like the habit of like meeting up and going um that is what's going on right now the lesson today went all right um I wasn't really like overly into what we were learning and I know that sounds silly but like it was just like an extension of like decoding tricky words but the tricky words that our curriculum give me are like tricky words that the second graders kind of already know um so it was good practice but like overall it was just kind of a hard lesson to teach because the kids already knew what they were doing so that is the update I'm exhausted um I got home from church at 9.50 last night. I took the wrong exit and went the wrong way down the tollway for a couple miles. So that was really fun. And then I got home and my mom and Ashley and I were talking and it just like the time passed and all of a sudden it was 11. And then at 11.15, I was like, I have to go to bed right now. I have a parent teacher conference at 7.15, so I'm about to leave for the school. I desperately need caffeine in my system or I'm not gonna make it through the day, but thank goodness it is college colors day at our school, so I am in my CHED um, t-shirt, which CHED is the College of Education and Human Development at Texas A&M. I wanted to wear my Texas A&M education t-shirt, but it has toothpaste on it, so it's really not looking too hot right now. I'm also in Adidas Superstars, so I'm just as comfortable as can be. Today I have a reading lesson um, that I kind of prepped a little bit late last night. Um, I'm reading an Eric Carle book um, over the ED, like inflectional endings. So that's what's going on this morning. I'm about to head off to school and I'm ready for another day of second grade. I made it to school and I'm really tired and I need to go get my coffee. <laughs> Today was one of those days that I had like really, really good moments and then like really, really tough moments. So I taught the reading lesson today. First of all, I come in and my cooperating teacher thought that I was teaching writing. So she had prepared reading and I had for her reading and neither of us were prepared for writing. Wasn't a big deal, I taught reading, she taught writing. Not a big like fix or whatever. Uh, parent teacher conference this morning went great. The mom seemed super involved and really nice. Um, and then she came and had lunch with her child, um, which was really great to see. Um, and I know they were excited about it. 
So that was all good and great. I was teaching a lesson on prefixes and suffixes and using them to like decode words so you could like determine the root word based on like if it has a prefix and a suffix. Um, hold on, I'm calling my dog. Rascal! He likes to wander off. And I really need him to not do that. Rascal! I may have lost my dog. Come here. Okay, just kidding. We really need to get the back fence completely closed off. Anyway, prefix and suffixes. I'm teaching like re and pre and un for um, prefixes. So the first class, I didn't really um, anticipate kids like thinking like about words like read and read and ready and how yes there's an re at the beginning of those words but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's a suffix and so like I kind of caught myself up with that one and like stumbled over my words trying to explain um, but I think I straightened it out I think they kind of got the gist of it and then in the second class the the lesson went fine it was great and then at the end of the day my cooperating teacher had a doctor's appointment that she needed to leave like right after school for um, and I decided I was going to go to the staff meeting even though she wasn't going. I was like, I'll go to the staff meeting. It's good for me to be there. Like I'm learning as much as I can this semester. It's nice to show my face around the coworkers, like get acquainted with the school, um, you know, just like make a good impression. Um, so I go with my team and I love my team so I'm just sitting there chatting. And the principal is talking about how um, a couple of our grade levels are almost at max capacity. And she was like, I know you guys really want a new teacher right now. We're not really looking for a new teacher because it's the middle of the semester. But I do plan on pushing for a new teacher come January. Probably a new college graduate from December. And I was like... I couldn't even like hide like the smile across my face like I smiled so big and she like kind of saw me in the meeting and she's like but I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that out loud yet and I was just really pumped because earlier in the day we ran into each other in the workroom and she was like hey I heard about your observation I heard you did really well like I would love to come see you teach we're really glad to have you at Frostwood um, let me know if there's ever anything you need me to do for you and I just I don't know I feel like I'm in a really really good place at the school that I'm at um, and I'm loving it there and the principal is being so kind and I just feel like I'm in a really solid place with the school I'm placed at so that is what kind of went down today um, another normal day tomorrow I'm teaching writing um, so I need to prepare for that I need to study for my PPR um, I'm about to go to the gym so that is the updates for today it's one of those mornings where I have literally hit every single red light on my commute to school every single one without fail the only thing making me happy right now is my coffee well and the fact that I get to go to school but also this commute is just really killing the vibe guys I am officially at school I didn't update you at the house this morning I was just kind of running around and honestly I forgot um, I'm teaching writing today I think I talked about that yesterday and I'm really excited about the lesson um, and we have a planning meeting during our block period today and I love planning meetings I don't know I just really love the second grade team here so like planning meetings are almost like hanging out with friends so I'm really excited for today one more day till Friday and then I have some friends coming into town this weekend so it's just a really good day I'm in a really good mood um, I showed y'all this earlier but I stopped and got some coffee on the way in so I'm feeling great I feel like I'm all over the place today like I didn't update y'all before I left the house I didn't really update y'all when I got back from school so it is about 8 p.m. right now I just ate dinner and I'm gonna go to the gym I usually like to go to the gym before I eat dinner but I just really could not work myself up to going right after school um, I went shopping for a little bit after school today. I was gonna look I was looking for some maroon outfits for game day on Saturday and I didn't find anything but Madewell had really awesome sale clothes. So I picked up a couple of things at Madewell and now I'm gonna go do cardio and abs. As far as school goes today, I taught 
writing, but it was really, really rushed because we got new desks today. Like, we moved the kids' desks for the first time. Like, we have a whole new seating arrangement. We really needed it. Um, but, yeah, today was one of those days that really tested my patience um, just kind of as a whole. Like, we had some friends who not necessarily, like, no one was really acting out. It was just, like, a lot of repetitive redirections today. Um, which we're working on it like it's still there's still new second graders um, they'll get there but that was rough and then we had a little bit of a scare so my cooperating teacher and I didn't have lunch duty today we were supposed to have recess duty and then on the intercom during lunch duty our principal came on and was like um, attention teachers and staff this is like an important notification like we need you to find your homeroom classes immediately and walk you head count into the front office and like didn't really give us any context and then we like my cooperating teacher and I are like running down the hallway because all of our kids are in the cafeteria we head count them we're missing one it just turns out he's in the bathroom he was fine we get our head count in every grade level has the correct amount of kids and then they come through on the walkie. Like, our kids are freaking out because we're, like, everyone quiet, heads down. But, like, nothing had been called. Like, shelter in place hadn't been called. Lockdown hadn't been called. Like, nothing had been called. We were all kind of freaking out. But, like, obviously as teachers we were trying to put on a good front. But, like, the cafeteria is not really a safe place to be in. If anything like that were to happen, God forbid. Um, and then it came across the walkie that it was not a lockdown. Um, and that it wasn't a shelter in place, so nothing was being called, but they also didn't say it was a drill um, Like they never came on the walkie and said it was a drill and it wasn't scheduled Turns out that the police department randomly called our school and was like what's your head count at school? Like they were just checking our numbers. I don't know if that's normal um, That's something that's new to me I know that when I worked at summer camp for the past three years like having your head count um, and your youngest and oldest was always really important, but I didn't think that that was the same for schools. But that was the recap of what happened today. I'm definitely ready for Friday. I don't teach anything tomorrow, so it's just an observation day for me, which is kind of a nice like breath of air. I can take a little bit of a break, but I'm ready for sure. I made it to school, and I am the second car in the parking lot. I'm so early. It's about 6.40 right now, so I'm like insanely early. This is about when I got here on the first day of school and I had so much extra time. I'm gonna go inside, I brought my laptop, I'm gonna lesson plan and I'm gonna make book labels. I'm gonna get some stuff done before Miss Elliot gets here. So, that's the plan. I have made it into school. I am setting up at this table right here and I'm about to get all the things done. I need to get book labels done for these red bins and I need to get lesson plans done. I have made it to the end of the week. It is Friday morning at about 6.30. Um, I am currently watching Putting Them First on YouTube. There's no shock there. I am in a like school t-shirt, jeans, and Target sandals. So I am one happy girl. I love our spirit days on Fridays because I mean I, I try and we're allowed to wear jeans I try not to wear jeans that often just because I am like not hired anywhere but um, it's gonna be a really good day I don't teach anything today so it's a nice break I need to get some lesson plans typed up and just observe I'm doing small group conferring and read uh, not read I'm doing small group conferring and reading groups um, so that is my task today. I'm sure I'll be in the workroom and like laminating and cutting some stuff today because I was supposed to laminate the login cards this week and there's no lamination and it was a big hullabaloo. So that is what's happening today. I'm in a weirdly like good like mood, like very awake. I'm still gonna get coffee on the way to school. That's like not even an option to skip. Um, but I don't know if it's because of my workout or because my friend is coming in from Colorado today. I'm just in a really great mood, so I'm ready to get this Friday started.